sent down earlier this week to play with Toronto FC too. Talk about that experience and the opportunity to get some more minutes. Yeah, it's always good as a goalkeeper to, to tack on a few minutes, game minutes. You can't really uh, you can't really train for that. You know, you, you do everything out on the field every single day, and it's it's always good to, to get an opposition, whether it's 45 minutes or 90 minutes, just to, to see different things a little differently. Being out here with training, what has John Conway been working on with you guys as the goalkeepers and things to improve on in terms of positionally? I think uh, just everything that we're doing is, is trying to maintain and keep our, stay connected with our back four and, and keep everyone in front of us all on the same page. You know, I think uh, going forward, the, the things that we've been letting in or the, the things that have been bro breaking down, I should say, uh, have, have, I think, been a little bit about miscommunication, little small little technical things, and it's about all of us coming together and being on the same page. You've shown that you can be ready at a moment's notice to seize an opportunity. What do you think if you were able to get the start this weekend against Orlando? I mean, I have to prepare just like Joe has to prepare every single day, and whether it's this weekend, next weekend, or three weekends ago, uh, we're all on the same page and going into the week thinking that uh, if if it's myself or if it's Joe stepping on the field, uh, we'll do whatever we can to do the job. Any explanation given for, for why you were sent down to that game on Wednesday? It would seem like that might be preparation for something this weekend. I mean, it's, it's it was just to get extra minutes. I haven't played in, in a month. Uh, I think it was uh, against New York was the last time I, I played 90 minutes. And, you know, you could, like I said earlier, you could you could train every single day. And even if we do an 11 aside scrimmage, it's not the same intensity as going in against the, an opposition. So it's. It's really, I mean, any goalkeeper really should, if he has the opportunity to get a, a couple extra minutes here or there, it's, it's a good opportunity for him. So we obviously didn't have anything midweek. They did, so that's why I jumped down to, to get some time. Do you expect to start on Saturday? I expect every weekend to, to be prepared to, to start just as Joe does. So whatever, uh, whatever Greg and John and the rest of the coaching staff does on the weekend, that's what they do. But uh, we both have to prepare the same way. How do you think you should start on Saturday? Every goalkeeper thinks that if thinks they should start. If not, then they shouldn't be here. But I'm asking you, what do you think? Uh, I think it's the coach's decision. How do, uh, I mean, how was this done on Wednesday? How do you feel after that? And, did you, and how did you feel going into it? And how do you feel after it? Uh, I mean, it's it's obviously different than, than playing up here. Uh, you know, the the guys down there, they, they're they there to get the, the minutes and the experience, the, the young guys. And I think the, the thing I took out of it most was uh, the, the communication aspect, you know, I think me playing behind them uh, was a little bit different than having Alex or Q uh, just in, in the sense of communication. And hopefully Alex and Q can see that uh, the little things that I, I would do in being around for a little bit longer than they have, it, it, then that's something that sort of you pick up over time is the communication, trying to keep your, your guys in line and staying connected.